It's sort of, it's my, it's my, I haven't been, I haven't performed in London for about a year. Okay. So I've sort of my first foray back onto the stage. I've been doing a lot of acting recently. So I've sort of, it's, it's a work in progress. You know, I'm trying out new material and this show's sort of about obsession. It's sort of about the obsession that exists within us, about other people, about ourselves, about mm -hmm. society in general. We're in a very sort of social media frenzied age. Uh, and it's sort of about sort of obsession about regret as well. The decisions you made in the past that perhaps you now regret and, and how much how easy it is to let go of that. So it's sort of about <laughs> general obsession. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, hopefully it's more gripping than I'm making it sound. Oh, no, you may have <laughs> gripped. I mean, I mean uh, what strikes me is it's not all comedy then. There's some serious tensions, oh, yeah. right? Well, well, a lot of my comedy in the, in the past has sort of come from quite a serious place. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the comedy shows I've done, the one that won the Edinburgh Comedy Award was extremely serious subject matter, uh, which explored like quite a dark situation that happened in my life when I was younger. And uh, uh, so I'm, I do like to kind of blend the two forms. But I think this this one that I'm doing at the Bush Theatre is going to be pretty serious, which is it's sort of a new challenge for me. I like to try and keep things sort of interesting and yeah. like to sort of challenge myself. And I thought the, the biggest challenge I could have is trying to write a show without the sort of expectation of laughs. So this is sort of quite a new thing for me, yeah. but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And do you kind of make it up as you go along? In terms of when I'm on the stage, yeah. well, I, a lot of comedians do, and yeah. a lot of, they like to sort of just riff with things and just sort of improvise. Uh, but I don't like to leave anything to chance. I sort of obsessively sort of try and structure it because I, you know, I, I did a gig last night and somebody heckled, and which is fine. I can I can sort of deal with it. But yeah. but, but when you have a plan set in your head, like a, like the sort of OCD like plan in your head, if somebody yeah. can like <laughs> tries to rupture that, sometimes it can sort of spiral you all out of control. So especially when it comes to like the solo shows, like the hour hour and a half long solo shows, I like to sort of keep it quite uh, planned. Yeah, for and sure. audiences can be cruel. They can be very yeah. cruel. But we're <laughs> yeah. nice here in London, so don't worry about that. Cool.